Hi everyone, it's Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, and today I have a fantastic feature to share with you. Have you ever set a reminder to do something, but it didn't show up in your calendar? Or maybe you use the calendar app for events and appointments, but forget to check the reminders app. Well, with iOS 18, Apple finally fixed that. You can now see your reminders right inside your calendar app. Let me show you how it works and why it's such a helpful update, especially for keeping track of everything in one place. Let's get started. So what's changed? For years, Reminders and Calendar were two separate apps. Your appointments were in one place and your to-do list was in another. But now with iOS 18, that's changed. If you set a reminder with a due date and a time, such as take medicine at 9 a.m., that reminder will now appear in your calendar app automatically. No extra steps, no settings to turn on. It's enabled by default. And yes, it works on iPhones, iPads, and Macs, as long as you're able to update to iOS 18. Let's walk through how this looks and feels. First of all, just to check to see if you're updated to iOS 18, you'll go ahead and open the settings app. You'll tap on general. You'll tap on software update, and you should see whether or not you've been updated to iOS 18. Once you've updated to iOS 18, let's go ahead and open the Reminders app. And we're going to create a new task. So I'm going to tap on the plus sign in the lower left corner to create a new reminder. I'm going to call this uh, Pickleball. And then I need to give it a date and a time. So. To do that, you want to tap on details. I'll go ahead and toggle on date, and then I'll choose the date that I want. And then I'll go ahead, toggle on time, and then I'll choose a time. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave this at 2 p.m. Now, once I've done that, if I swipe out of the Reminders app, and I go ahead and I open up the Calendar app, you should see if I come to the 18th, because that's the date I set it for, a reminder for Pickleball at 2 p.m. It even shows the color of the list your reminder belongs to, just like it does in the Reminders app. So to show you that, you'll see that the list is orange. If I swipe out and come back in to the Reminders app, and I choose Reminders, you'll see that the little icon to the left of Reminders is also orange. And in the Calendar app, let's come back to it, you'll see that there is a little checkbox icon so you can check it off right from your calendar. You can see these Reminders in the Day view. So if I tap on Today, it brings me to the, the date uh, of today. If I tap on it again, it gives me a listing of all of my events uh, and any of my reminders that are in there. To get back to the calendar view, you just tap on it up in the upper left-hand corner and it'll bring you back to the calendar view. Want to remove a reminder to a new time? You can just drag it on your calendar. Let me show you how that works. So right now, we are in list view. So if I tap here, you'll see list view is checked off. We want to go to details or it won't work. So I'm going to tap on details. And then I'm going to choose the day of the reminder, which is the 18th. I'll tap on that and you'll see the reminder there. So if I grab that, I can drag it to a new day and time. 
I can move it to a different time on the same day and drop it. And once I make the change, it will instantly be reflected in the Reminders app too. So if I swipe out of here and I open the Reminders app and I tap on Reminders, I should see Pickleball changed from 2 p.m. tomorrow to 4 p.m. tomorrow. So both apps stay in sync all the time. And yes, you can even create a reminder inside of the calendar app. So swipe out of reminders. If I come into the calendar app and I tap on the plus button in the upper right corner, now I have to choose the Reminders tab on the right side. So if I tap that, you'll see it comes into an area that looks very similar to the Reminders app. I can add a, a title, and I'm just going to put a 2 here. And then I can tap in uh, and put where it says Date. I can add a date, and I can tap into Time and I can add a time. And once I do that, I have the option here also. I can put it on a different list if I want to, whatever the lists are that I have in Reminders. I'm going to leave it on the main Reminders list. And then once I tap Add, you'll see that on the 20th of August, you see a new reminder for Pickleball 2, uh, that I was able to create inside of the calendar app. Now, this isn't quite as smooth as using the Reminders app directly, but it works. Now let's talk about why this matters, especially for seniors like us. It reduces confusion. There's no more switching between apps and wondering, did I write that down somewhere? Everything appears in one place. Your reminders now live right next to your appointments, making your day easier to plan. It's easy to mark tasks as done. Just tap the checkbox in your calendar. This is perfect for medication reminders, grocery runs, doctor's appointments, birthdays or check-ins with family. All of these things are important and they matter. Here are some bonus tips and alternatives. You can use the Apple Lady to set a reminder hands-free. Just say, hey, Apple Lady, remind me to call my son at 4 p.m. That reminder will now show up in your calendar too because you added a date and a time. You can also add widgets to your home screen. So if I push and hold on the home screen and I tap, you'll see the app start to jiggle. And if I tap on edit, in the upper left corner, I can choose Add a Widget. Once I've added that widget, let me go to Calendar. I can choose a widget. You can swipe through and see what widget you want to add. I'm going to choose this one. Tap on Add Widget, and it adds this now to your home screen. You can also add a Reminders widget, and now you can see everything at a glance. There are also third-party apps that you can use, but just remember that third-party apps sometimes have sync issues, while Apple's built-in features tend to be more stable and private. So there you have it. With iOS 18 and macOS Sequoia, Apple finally brought calendar and reminders together, and it makes a big difference. No more app juggling, fewer missed tasks, and a whole lot more peace of mind. Give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.